We use CA glue by the gallon here in the shop, and I usually just use whatever's available, whatever's easily accessible. But is there a better CA glue out there? Is there something cheaper and better, and I'm wasting my money? Let's find out. CA glue or super glue. There's a ton of it out there, a ton of different brands, types, consistencies, and I want to stick to just one in this video, and I think I'm going to stick with the most common, which is a gel or a medium CA glue, except for one, and we'll talk about that when we come to it. And also, all the glues I use in this video, I picked up off of Amazon because I wanted to make sure that they were accessible to you guys, and I tried to stick with some of the more common brands. So let's go ahead and dive on in and take a look at the different glues and their details that we'll be using in this comparison video. Starting with Loctite's gel control, it's on the smaller side with just a net weight of 0.14 ounces. And on Amazon, it cost me $2.86. So that's a per ounce cost of $20.43. Yikes. I also want to follow each glue's instructions very closely as to be fair to all the different glues involved in this test. And Loctite calls for a pressure hold time of 15 to 30 seconds and a cure time of 12 to 25 hours. I also snagged a bottle of the very popular Gorilla Super Glue Gel, which is slightly larger in volume at 0.71 ounces and got it for $6.48, giving it a per ounce cost of $9.13. It wants us to hold pressure for 10 to 45 seconds and let it cure for at least 24 hours. Crazy Glue is an age-old staple in the Super Glue world, and it comes in weighing a minuscule 0.14 ounces, costing me $2.77 for a $19.79 per ounce cost. It needs 30 seconds of pressure time, and it didn't give a cure time on the packaging. I have to assume it's instant, maybe. Now, this is the outlier in the test. I've included Loctite 60-second CA glue. It's not a gel glue, but we use a ton of it here in the shop, and I know you guys do too, so I wanted to see how it compares. A tube of this stuff is 0.6 fluid ounces, and it costs me $6.99. That's a per ounce cost of $11.65. It of course needs 60 seconds of pressure time, but it can be repositioned for the first 10 to 15 seconds. And again, the packaging does not give a full cure time. Here's one we're all familiar with, Bob Smith Industries Instacure Plus. It comes at a net weight of two ounces and costs $8.75 for a much more affordable per ounce cost of $4.38. It's going to only need five to 10 seconds of pressure and two hours to fully cure. Those are some Really nice specs. We'll have to wait and see how it holds up. I also picked up a more premium glue from Starbond that has the same two ounce weight, but is pricier at $10.89 or $5.45 per ounce. It has a full instruction sheet included that describes how to use all the different tips it comes with, but gives no pressure or cure times. It may be given on their website, but not on the packaging. That's our six competitors, and again, there's a ton of different glues out there, but that's six that I think are commonly used. Before we move on putting the test together, let's go ahead and quickly compare their pricing. Starbond comes in with the highest overall price, but Loctite Gel has the highest per ounce cost. Crazy Glue wins with the lowest overall price, but per ounce, Instacure Plus takes the win. These are the winners and losers from a price point, but which ones perform the best? For this, we're going to need a couple of tests. For this video, I think we'll use two tests. The first using square rod styrene and gluing them end to end. Then we'll add weight to one of the ends and see what it takes to break the bonds. For the second test, we'll do the same but use flat sheet styrene glued face to face. I think this should give a good indication to the strength of each glue. But first I want to cut all the styrene to the same sizes. I want to know when we add weight to the styrene, everything is equal from test to test. Let me quickly do some cutting and we'll have everything ready to go. And as I glue it up, I want to follow each manufacturer's recommendations closely as far as glue time. And I'll use a timer for each one so you can see those recommendations are being followed. 
Not the best content on YouTube, but I want to make sure that these times are documented. See you in a bit. Okay, we know the test we'll be using, so let's get testing. Starting with Loctite, I'm going to start adding weight to the shortcut styrene end until it breaks. I've added tape to the end to help keep the weights from sliding off. A 12 inch piece was used for each test as to not add different amounts of weight and I also added a dot of paint to the long ends of the styrene that corresponds to the cap color of the glue to ensure we don't get any of them mixed up. I add the weight slowly and methodically. I don't want to add any unnecessary stress to the glued joint. Luckily for you guys, through the magic of editing, we can speed this process up. This is starting to get heavy and the glue joint is really starting to stress so I thought I'd go ahead and slow things back down. In between 1800 and 19, gonna call it 1850 grams. Now on to Gorilla Glue in the exact same way. When things start to look a little hairy, I'll slow it down. Two thousand seventy grams, we have a new leader. Crazy glue is up next. That didn't take long. We'll call it less than one thousand grams. Now lock tight sixty second glue. It couldn't hold a thousand grams either. Come on, Instacure, at least make it past a thousand grams. Okay, good. I'll get back with you guys when things are a bit more dicey. Well, I'm out of weights. We'll call it more than 2,100 grams. And we have a new leader. 
Last one up is Starbond, and we'll do this the same as the previous five. I thought it was gonna hold it all, but nope, 2100 is its limit. That's test one. Let's go ahead and move into test two, and then we'll sum up all the results. Just like in test one, I'm gonna be adding weight to the short end of the styrene, and I'll be using a hole I drilled in the ends to hang the weight from. For this test, we have a lot more bonded surface area, so I'm thinking it's gonna hold a lot more weight. That's every weight I have, we're gonna have to try something different, like a 10 pound weight tied to a carabiner. Nice, let's keep going with each glue type. Nope, not Loctite 60 second glue. We use this stuff a lot and it's not testing well. I guess let's keep adding weight. I'm actually kind of impressed. Let's move on to 20 pounds. I'm actually starting to worry about the floor if one of these breaks and my toes, but let's move on to 25 pounds. I am going to stop there. I am starting to worry about the floor below and maybe we can revisit this test in a later video with a different setup. But 25 pounds, that really says a lot, especially in the modeling and RC world. At 25 pounds, you can support an entire RC truck at that weight. Let's take a look at all the final results and try and figure out who we think the winners are. 
In test one, Crazy Glue was clearly the loser, and Loctite 60 Second Glue failed to not even hold 10 pounds in test two. Instacure barely squeezed out Starbond for the top spot in test one, and they were all able to hold 25 pounds in test two, except for Loctite 60 Seconds. So what does all this mean? Well, just by judging from all the reds and greens, Bob Smith Industries Instacure Plus is the clear winner. It's the cheapest per ounce, and had the highest strength ratings, but I would add two caveats to that. It does cost $8.75 a bottle, and how many of us have had a half a bottle of this stuff dry up before we even use it? So if all you need to do is one small job, like glue your handle back on a teacup, I'd go for the $2.86 bottle of Loctite. And I'd consider Starbond. It performed nearly as well as Instacure and comes with eight different tips, a closure plug for after it's been opened, and three different caps. All this may make it worth the extra dollar an ounce. Let me know which one you think is the winner or was your favorite not tested here. Let me know down below. Thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful when it comes to deciding which CA glue is right for you. And I plan on doing more videos like this where we compare different brands. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button down below so you can keep up with these videos. Also hit that like button. It really does help out the channel here. And leave me a comment down below. YouTube really likes that also. But thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.